report the news. You know, in the old days, when you used public airways free, you had to get a license. I keep saying, if they're reporting fake news, how come they can keep getting a license? Whether it's ABC, whether it's NBC, CBS, or of course CNN, which is, I mean, it's one of the great jokes of all time, CNN, or MSDNC. But they're cables, so I guess there's a different standard. But when you're using the public airwaves, free, okay, free, aren't you supposed to get a license? So I ask my people that, I ask a couple of guys, and. I never really get an answer. I just want to know a simple question. Do you have to report the truth when you're using free airways and make it a fortune with commercials and everything else? And I never get the right answer because there are people down deep. It's crazy. But we're getting down to all of it. A lot of progress has been made. I think you're starting to see it. We're trying to beat a terrible group of deep state people. You know, I came to Washington. Think of it. Think of it. I came to Washington. Holy shit, he said it. And I had 24 years of people putting people in office. And then you can probably add another four to that and another four to that. I had many, many years, decades of people putting it. So I came, never been to Washington, I guess 17 times. I never stayed over, right? Never slept over. I was there 17 times. I tell the story. I was in Washington in my entire life, D.C., 17 times, never slept over, ever, not once. And... All of a sudden, you. we're riding down Pennsylvania Avenue, and I'm with a beautiful times. woman on my right, named Melania. Look at this. And I had about 400 motorcycles in front of me. And we're in a cavalcade of about 128 cars, most of them having about 15 submachine guns inside. There's more firepower in this guy. But we're riding down the beautiful Pennsylvania Avenue, and I look outside at those police. I love our police. We got to do that police. But I had everything. I had police. I had military. I had soldiers. I had everything you could possibly have. You never saw so much power and strength and beauty, the beauty. And they were so proud. They're all saluting. They're so proud. They're happy to have gotten rid of that crowd that was there before us. They're proud. They're, they're great. The police, you know, every single police force, I think, endorsed me. I got the one yesterday from Chicago. That's not easy. Chicago endorsed me. New York's finest endorsed me. Florida. Ohio. Every, I mean, everybody. I don't know that he's gotten one vote. That he says he's, he can't mention the words law and order. But I'm driving down the street. And I look at my wife, I say, do you believe it? I'm the president of the United States. That's the good thing. But can you believe it? And then I get to the most beautiful house in the world. I can have Mar-a-Lago and all of them, but I'll tell you, the White House is still the White House, no matter how you do it. I get to this gorgeous, beautiful place, and I'm up at the incredible suite level. And there's Abraham Lincoln suite. It's called the Lincoln Bedroom. Remember, Clinton used to lease it out to people for money. <laughs> they never change, do they? Remember when Barbara Streisand? She's another beauty, by the way. <laughs> but remember, Barbara Streisand used to... But, uh, which was the only problem I had with it. But tell me, no, but I do like her voice. I do. I really do. Some of them, I don't like even their voices. <laughs> but she used to stay there, and I'm standing in the Lincoln bedroom. The history, the whole thing, the bed, the desk, the Gettysburg address, the beautiful four score and seven years ago, this beautiful Gettysburg address. He wrote it there, and also on his carriage ride up to Gettysburg. He delivered the Gettysburg address. And they say the only one that got worse press than I did was Abraham Lincoln. Did anyone ever hear that? And I said, no way they got worse. Maybe he got bad, but no way he gets worse. <laughs> I, uh, now people are starting to say, you know, it's probably true. I think you get the worst. Now they're actually, they used to say, no, no, Newt Gingrich, great guy. He said, nope, Abraham Lincoln got the worst press. They were worse to him than anybody. He was a very depressed person. His wife was very depressed. It was a depressed kind of a thing. You know, he's in a war, he's in a revolution. 
And uh, he was getting beaten a lot by Robert E. Lee. They want to rip the statue down all over the place. But Robert E. Lee, Robert E. Lee was a, a whether you like him or not, whether you like statues or not, you know, they don't rip statues down anymore. I signed a law. Yeah. Ten years in jail. They don't rip them down. But Robert E. Lee won many, many battles in a row. And it was supposed to be over in one day. You know, it was supposed to end immediately because the North was too powerful for the South. But it just shows when you have leaders, when you have a great general and Robert E. Lee, he would have won except for Gettysburg. And that was because his general was killed, who was going to lead Gettysburg. Never fight uphill, me boys. Never fight uphill. He heard they were going uphill. Stop them, stop them. But we had no cell phones in that day, right? Congressmen, no cell phones. So they sent the horses to stop them, stop them, but it was too late. They fought uphill and they got slaughtered. That's what happened. But Robert E. Lee, these were incredible things. But I hope you I hope you appreciate that we had a period of time when they were ripping down all of the statues and monuments. And I said to my people four months ago, I said, this is crazy. These people, and they don't even know, you know, they, they started ripping down Abraham Lincoln. When they hit Lincoln, I said, wait a minute, this is the man, and you can't do... Then they hit George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, they hit everybody. They even hit Gandhi. All Gandhi wanted was one thing, peace, may we have peace. Doing, I think they're just a bunch of thugs, okay? You want to know the truth? But they were going to march on Washington, and they were going to rip down a statue of Abraham Lincoln, you know? Illegally, they go through Congress as a way of doing it. But, you know, they didn't want to do it that way.